I want to share why I do what I do. This is because of something which happened in 2011, so almost 11 to 12 years ago. At that time, I was working on my second startup and a friend of mine was helping me with some design work and we were interacting quite often. And one day, she reached out to me and told me that she wanted to take a break. She wanted to focus on some other things and um, she wouldn't be able to support me for the next few days or weeks. And in that conversation, it, it was a phone conversation, I could sense something was wrong, something was missing, but I just let it go. Two days later, I found out that she committed suicide. And I can never forget that because I, I could listen to that. Even in that phone call, I could listen. I could feel something in my body. There was something which I wanted to ask her or go deeper into. But I stopped myself thinking, who am I to do so? And it was not my place. And I can never forget this because then this incident took me down a rabbit hole of understanding emotions, understanding intuition, understanding how we react, how we interact with each other and what are the all the dynamics that are at play. That led me to, uh, first of all, became an empathetic manager and then later to become a coach directly tied into what I do today. I can never forget this incident and this is so meaningful for me. I can never get her back. I can never undo the past. But at the same time, I now know that if I send something in my body and there is something or somebody who matters to me, I'm not going to stop myself. If I'm feeling something, even during coaching sessions, I rely a lot on my intuitions and express what I am sensing, what I am feeling, even though I have no idea or no justification for what I'm about to say. <laughs>